All right, let us uh, kill the jazz. And frankly, this, this game is far too grim dark for that. Can't be having any of that nonsense. Thank you very much. No, no, no. Back to the darkest dungeon. A quick stream. I don't anticipate that I'm going to be on very long. I'm kind of a bit tired, but people are like, oh, please stream, please stream. I'm like, eh, I guess why not? You know, someone to share the misery with. Why not? We're streaming 60 FPS today. It's not, it's not exactly a visually taxing game, so I'm going to see if it works. Maybe it will. Most of the time, streaming at 60 FPS is not a good idea because I don't really have the upstream for the the kind of bitrate that I would want. So, we will see. Alright. So, things got a bit weird. Um, I spent all my money and then forgot I didn't have provisions for a run. So I'm like, shit, okay, we're doing a run with one torch. So, these hyper-stressed guys that are still alive somehow, they're the guys that did that run. Uh, this is week four, I think, or five of the game. So they did that run. They survived, all of them. And they walked away with 7,000 gold in loot and a shitload of stuff that I just used to heavily upgrade my abbey. Which is where they are all now currently trying to sort themselves out. But, uh, yeah, we at least have a, a party of sorts to go into the next dungeon, although not a particularly great one. Oh, and we have actually level. We could actually go try and do kill the necromancer apprentice. I don't think that's a very good idea, frankly. I don't think we have the, we don't have the experience to do that yet. Uh, so I think we're gonna go. We're gonna just do, go and cleanse. Seems like a good way to go. And let's see who we're gonna send. Um, we could send Artosis along. So he's got the heal, the party heal, and he's got dazzling light and mace bash. So. I'll absolutely take that. Where do you need to be for dazzling light? Bottom two, back two positions. Okay. And Mace Bash. I mean, Mace Bash doesn't do a lot of damage anyway, so it's really not that important. So, our toast at the back. Um, we won't take Dodger. She's still a bit of a mess after last time. Krendor's doing pretty well. He can front, and he's got he's got Zealous Accusation, so that AoE is really powerful. Let's see what we got. Uh, we can t we could take Plaguey Joe. He's in an okay spot. Jesse's still a bit fucked up from last time, so... Plaguey Joe can come along. So he's got, what, Plague Grenade. So he needs to be at the back for that. Incision. So he really wants to be in position three, really. And then he's got Emboldening Vapors and Disorientating Blast, which can be anywhere. So we'll put Plaguey Joe in position, that position there. Uh, so I, I guess we can take Godfrog along for the rest of it. Uh, he's got... He hates everybody. He's great. He has 15% fucking damage against humans, plus protection. He's actually pretty well statted out. And he's good at the front. He's got Flashbang. So he can use all of his skills, except for hook and slice. He can't use that one, uh, but that's a ranged attack, so I'm not really too worried about that. So we'll take, uh, we'll take him along. I'm not actually sure why he's called Gold for Oak. I haven't actually got around to renaming him yet. Let's let's do that. We can give that a shot. So who, 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 this is, this will be Gerard the Completionist here. Yeah. There we go. He's a bit of a bounty hunter, so I'm told. That's Atosis. That's Angry Joe, and that's Crandall. Okay, cool. In we go. So we could do could do that one. Uh, do we want to do a longer one? No. Uh, so we still want to do it. These guys have barely had any experience. They want to be going to apprentice missions. Okay. So I think we do get firewood for this. So we do get to camp once. But let's make sure we actually have enough of everything. Not going to be fucking around with this one. Not after last time. Anti-venom. A couple of keys and shovels. Always nice to have. And... Bleeding's generally not a problem. Like, I generally don't buy bandages. You can usually find them in the dungeon, from what I've seen. So it's not really that important. We're all good. Alright, cool. Yeah. Jenna is currently flagellating herself after the last run, after reaching 100% stress, so... Jenna is not coming on this run. Alright. Cool. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to be This is cleanse, isn't it? It's 100% room battles. Alright, fair enough. This is always a bit clunky for some reason. I don't know why that is. Maybe just doing it wrong. Oh, fuck, no, no, no. That's fucking terrible. Holy shit. You are in exactly the wrong place. That Holy Lance will send him forward one, though, so I guess we can, we can do that. We can hit one at the back. Him not being able to open with Zealous Accusation is really shitty. Fuck my life. Okay. Ah, damn, and he killed the one at the back, so Plague Grenade's now less effective. Unbelievable. 
Uh, unbelievable. Well, you're at the front. Have a buff. You're going to be fighting now. Alright, we're good. So what does he do? He's got come here, though, which is a two-pull. Collect bounty and flashbang. Which is getting a shuffle. For these guys, you just want to be killing them. Because there's no point debuffing something with that low HP. You just want to murder it. Like that. Yep, indeed we have. Just got wrecked. And she... What the fuck? Oh my god, this happened again. Oh, is it is because it she's in the wrong position? Half her fucking attacks don't work now. Where's her mace blast? Did we turn... This has happened twice to me now, where it's turned off the fucking abilities for no reason. I had uh, my guy go in without a heal. So great. So she hasn't got Dazzling Light or Mace Bash. That's fucking brilliant. Stupid fucking early access game. <sighs> great. Well, she's now useless the entire run. That's lovely. <sighs> that's the second time that's fucking happened. So stupid. I didn't disable it. I didn't click on shit. It's stupid. It should have a fucking confirmation button for that. It's ridiculously easy to do that. Stupidly easy. There's no reason why you'd want to turn your fucking abilities off before you go into a dungeon. Come on. It's not based on position. You have no idea what you're talking about. All abilities are shown. They're blacked out if they're not. If you're not in the right position. If they're not on your bar, it's because you've turned them off. Surges as the enemy well, apparently you can change skills between fights, so that's going to solve that problem, thankfully. Well, you can't do anything other than boldening vapors, so that's lovely. It shouldn't make it so easy to turn your skills off. You don't want to fucking do that. Uh, if anything, if you, if it's going to do that, it needs to have a confirmation button that says you don't have a full skill bar. Are you sure you want to do that? Right. There we go. Why Why would you want to turn your skills off? You wouldn't. The only reason you want to do that is if you want to swap out skills you have. So I think they should be adding a confirmation button for that to make sure you don't accidentally do that. Fucking annoying. Okay. Right, let's get everyone back in the position they're supposed to be in so we can actually do something. There we go. Problem solved. What do we have here? Stuff. Thank you. Oh. Hopefully for the best. Probably not. She now has diarrhea. Well, that's unfortunate. Minus 10 max... Oh, 10% max HP. I was going to say minus 10 HP. That's fucking terrible. My god. Alright. Yeah, don't go with the fucking part of hardcore gaming. UI design has nothing to do with hardcore gaming. Apparently she read everybody poops but you. She is now a shitty wizard. Yes, being intuitive doesn't make it any easier. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. I think you're a bit melodramatic, mate. Oh my god, not again! <laughs> now she's just stressed out again. Jesus. Hunger, well, we did thankfully bring food, so we're good. And I think, I think there's a camp in this dungeon, so we should be alright. I'm not sure if I brought enough hunger, though. Alright, bunch of fucking nasty spiders that we managed to surprise. Cool, so guess who's getting zealous accusation? Okay, so... Yeah, they're all 7 HP each. We just beat the shit out of them. That's the plan. That was a disappointing collective bounty. Zealous accusation. Just finish them off. There we go. Give them no quarter. And then we can... We can only play grenade the one at the back. It's probably best just to slice this guy up. There we go. And we can still do Dazzling Light from here. That's the best thing about that. Which is very good and has a stun. So it's fucking incredible. Fantastic. We actually might not take a single hit of damage here. If we do it right. Especially if the Dazzling Light stuns, which it will. 
Uh, I, I don't mind le le letting the light run too low. The plus stress isn't that bad. There is a risk of heroes being surprised, but it doesn't help that often. It doesn't happen, and you do get plus crit and plus loot. So I like to let the torch run a bit dry. Like, it, it increases the amount of gold that you get to a significant amount, which makes the, the town meta a lot easier, I think. So I think, uh, especially on the lower dungeons, you can absolutely get away with letting your torches run low. I mean, right now my stress level is pretty low, and I'm gonna, the thing is I'm going to camp as well. So I'm going to be able to reduce stress that way. Oh, here we go. He's getting a bit klepto. Yes, you should have, you dolt. It's fine. He'll take a bit of damage. It's not a terrible thing. Secrets and wonders oh, fucking can be found in the most it. tenebrous corners of this place. I thought TB hated early access games. No, I don't fucking hate early access games. Why the hell do you think that? I don't care about buying early access games. I mean, God. I have enough money. It's not a big deal. It comes down to the fact that I don't do coverage of them. Because it's stupid. Like, there's a bunch of stuff that's out that I ship covering on YouTube. I play early access games. I play Distance. I play Kerbal Space Program. I play this, obviously. Um, I play Mordheim at the moment. Yeah, of course I get early access games. Again, why wouldn't I? It's not a risk for me. It's part of my job. What annoys me is that people spend money on early access games when they could be spending it on perfectly good finished games that I think, you know, they're probably better off doing. We should really drag that Brigand Fusilier closer if possible. Oh, I think we actually want to stun him because these guys can do really bad damage. And then that puts him at the front, which means we can open up the Zealous Accusation on both of them, which is good. But yeah, I mean, right now my stress is low, so why... Like, it, it pluses monster accuracy and damage, but you get plus player crits and plus loot. So, against, like, weaker monsters, I think it's totally fine to have your torch down. If possible, I want to flashbang the guy at the back as well. It pushes him towards the front, and those Fusiliers have this really nasty AoE, I think. That you want to try and avoid getting hit by. Uh, damage is low across the board. We should be fine. Put a stun on him. Make sure he doesn't do anything. He resisted it, but he's, all, he's about dead. I think we can just now zealous accusation and blow him up. Oh, you dodged it. Fuck you. Okay. Well, he's still stunned. He is passing. This is the cool thing. The brigand cutthroat, because he's at the back now, can't do anything. So, this is a really good setup. And then we can blow up the fusilier at the front. And Incision should finish off the guy at the front. We, I'm think, uh, I really want to kill the Fusilier, though. More than I want to kill this guy. So, I think... Could go for another stun. I could just try and kill him. Damage is 5 to 10. 12% crit chance. Not a great roll. I think we just kill the guy at the front. And then we can just Dazzling Light the Fusilier again. And miss! Yep, that sounds about right. So you might get that AoE off. Maybe not. Let's flashbang him. There we go. He's not getting that. I'm not going to let him do that. I died to one of these guys. Like The, the only two deaths I've had have been to these fuckers. So uh, we're just going to do a party heal here. Let's get everyone off a bit. Yeah, I mean, I just... I don't think that people that don't have a lot of disposable income should be buying early access. It, may, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And as you've seen, people have got burned by it before. Like, I don't get burned by games. Like, if a game fucks me over, I just make a video about it. It's my job. There we go. Finish him off. Cool. So the Fusiliers managed to do jack shit the entire time, which is exactly what I hoped. And then we just smite him to death. Yeah, Prison Architect's early access. It's probably one of the best early access games there is. There we go. Easy peasy. As and decent loot, too. So, too, will Resistance... Yeah, I'm, just, I'm fine with us being at this torch level. Okay, let's make sure we're in the right place. There we go. I don't think there's anything to be found here by the looks of it, but I... We need to kill 100% of the fights in this dungeon. Yeah, stress is fine right now.
Yeah, I mean, Prison Architect's been in early access for so long that it's got to the point that it's basically... I mean, it's, it's maybe never going to be content complete, but it has enough content for it to basically be a full game, and the bugs have been ironed out, so... It could probably not be in early access now, and it would do... The thing is, like, when you do your out-of-early-access launch, you've got to do it right. So, I can understand a lot of companies being cautious, because it's that one chance to get back on the Steam front page and really, like, get the publicity. So, you've got to not fuck it up. Like, and if Prison Architect's doing it well enough in early access, it seems to me that they just stay in early access until they're so confident that they have so much content that their launch is going to be really successful. Well, I think that's most of our food gone. I should have brought a bit more. Ah! Shit, I didn't even look for that. That Mechanical was dumb. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. What is this? Of course it did. Well, I resisted it, so I guess it's not really a problem. Okay, so her stress level's getting a little bit silly now. Let's, uh, we can use one torch. I don't generally like getting down to zero. Hello. All right. And they get to fight first, which is a little annoying. Well, there's going to be a lot of zealous accusation going on here, I think. Okay, so the Cultist Acolyte's maybe the biggest threat. I'd like to bring her in close and then blast her with Zealous Accusation. If we can get the Cultist Brawler back in the field, he won't be able to do much. So we're going to do a pull to bring the Acolyte to the front. And she resisted it, because fuck you. Okay. All right, well, play Grenade on the guys at the back then. It's the most logical thing to do. They do have 25% Blight Resist. I would have expected better. Well, this is not going well. My dice rolls have been terrible up to this point. Okay, well, we'll just zealous accusation, I think. I don't know, we could we could just go bulwark of protection and just have him tank a lot. Yeah, let's, let's do that for the time being. Looks like he's going to be taking a lot of hits anyway. Party heal? Uh, no, we want to stun. That devastating blow. Wow, nice. Nice hit. Cool, we can catch him with AoE then. How quickly the time Ooh. turns. Fucking hell. All right. You're not kidding about that, are you? Alright, we'll try Plague Grenade again. Again, only 25% Blight Resistance. But there's also a 25% Debuff Resistance. I guess that doesn't stack. Ooh, double crit in the Blights. There we go. That's what we like. So he's stunned for the time being, and a lot of the damage comes from him. But this this woman is the one that does a lot of crazy shit that I don't like. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Huge amount of stress increasing from dealing with her. Alright, well, we're, we could try the hook again. Right, can we actually hit from here? No. Okay, we're gonna... Or we can try and just kill the cultist brawler. No, we need to hook her in. She's got to... Oh, or we can just kill her with the hook. That works too. There we go. Alright, dazzling light on the guy at the front. Shit. Well, I should have probably used the heal there instead. It's okay. We can zealous accusation, which should do the job. I got really lucky on the last run. Insanely lucky. Um, like, I had a character on Death's Door get hit four times and not die. So I was like, well, this is uh, going surprisingly great. Okay. Mm, incision's pretty shitty. It could crit. Or it could do nothing like that. We'll just go for Smite, which should be a finish. Okay. I should have probably held on and healed a bit more because it took a lot of damage. But I think we're going to hit a camp very soon, so I... But I guess it's not going to be too much of a problem. Let's uh, put the key in this. Make sure we get maximum Packs loot. Laden with loot nice. Are often low on supplies. Yeah. Well, next fight we want to try and drag it out so we can get some heals off. Because God, uh, Gerard in particular took a lot of damage. Fuck me. Didn't see that. Well, that's just made matters worse, hasn't it? Alright. Now... There we go. As the light gains purchase, spirits Rather than are killing ourselves. And purpose is made clear. Well, he's in a bit of trouble. Where is the camp? You can't can you you can't start the camp yourself, can you? You you just encounter a place in the thing that lets you do the camp. Hello. Alright. This guy is nasty. That Death guy waits. That fucker is worse. Laps in concentration. Yeah, alright. Plaguey Joe's in a lot of trouble. Reeling, about to break. 
The question... Okay, so we, we need to get this guy right now. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Fuck you. What? Injury and Holy shit. Set the stage for heroism. Or cowardice. Yeah, that's ridiculous. We're not... I... It's annoying that people keep asking about Dark Heresy. Like, I've made it abundantly clear I'm not doing Dark Heresy. It's a, it's a really long show. It's very exhausting. I can't do it. It's that simple. I'm not doing it. I understand that people like the show, but it's, it's a fucking four-hour show. Just a reminder, I'm still doing the whole chemo thing, and I'm consistently tired all the time. It's not something I can do. I'm sorry. I don't know why people keep asking. I've made it very clear, I think. It does get a bit annoying, I've got to say. I think we're going to lose this fight. Because it's just been crit after crit after crit. Put him at the front at least so we can beat the shit out of him. Well, uh, we're going to have to party heal to avoid death's door. We actually only have one healer, as it turns out, in this party. So we're probably going to die horribly here. And everyone's bleeding. Great. Test. Hold fast. Not looking Works at Twitter's going. Well, we've talked about this like ten times. Alright. Ah, thankfully we at least got a bit of a lucky resolve check. Anger is power. Unleash it. Alright, so we need to stop one of our guys from dying. They're bleeding as well, which makes matters even fucking worse. Oh. No place for the weak or the foolhardy. Yep, I think this is the party where uh, this is the dungeon run where we get utterly wrecked. Several fucking nasty crits and misses later. Yeah, and we only have that one healer. So, yep, this is uh, this is a. Oh come fucking on! Ah, yeah. Our party's fucked. This isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Didn't even hit the tank. It's like, yeah, go after him. Brink, facing the abyss. And that killed him with the bleed. Yep, lovely. Yeah, we are s just fucked. Maybe we can keep the tank alive. Maybe. Oh, great, can't use Dazzling Light now. Fuck. Uh, yeah, of course. Should have seen that coming. Ah, unbelievable. Yeah, one damage party heal. Well done. Well, that's that. We're basically dead now. It had to happen at some point. Perched at the very precipice. At least that wasn't my best party, but it was pretty. You can't, you can't run away. At a... Oh, you can't. No, I don't think you can run away in the middle of a fight. A pretty hand sure you can't. From becoming unwound. As far as I know, there isn't a way to do that. Unless there's a button I'm missing. Flag on the map lets you run. We can try. Maybe we save, save Krendor. This skirmish may be lost, but the battle may yet be won. I wouldn't say so. We're getting the fuck out. Well, three dead. Back, but not the end of things. At least we got a decent amount of cash from it. We're gonna need to replace the people that got murdered. And wow, eight eight sigils. That's pretty good. And he's now claustrophobic, because, yeah. Krendor is dead. Well, actually, no, he's not. He's alive. Everyone else is dead. Artosis, Gerard, and Plaguey Joe, they're all gone. But Krendor is alive. And now has a fear of small spaces. I was lord of this place. Before the crows and rats made it their domain. Well, at least we have some of our better people kind of back up now. Krendor can go and flagellate himself or whatever he likes to do with his time. And uh, I don't have the stuff for Instructor Master yet. I really need that. 
That was a nasty run. That went really, really badly. Thankfully, we should be able to recruit some new people. Yeah, let's just recruit everybody. What better laboratory we than the space. blood-soaked battlefield? There we go. We've got a full roster now. So, I mean, it's not like they were high level, so losing them isn't the worst thing ever. Yeah, you gain stress by walking backwards. That is a real thing. I think, really, the only way to kind of... Because the game definitely has a lot of dice rolling in it, but that's kind of part of the fun. You just, you have a really bad run sometimes. And the game sort of accepts that, and that's fine. And has ways and means around it. And you can retreat, as it as was mentioned there, so... Yeah. It's not... I don't really mind too much losing to that. I think that's... That is kind of part of the fun. You can just... Ha there's times you can just have a really, really amazing run and everything goes incredibly well. And then there's times when it's just... Stuff just goes fucking horribly. And you just have to deal with that. Well, on the plus side, I don't have to spend too much on de-stressing because most of my party members died. Uh, unfortunately, the de-stressing for these guys didn't go incredibly well. I think Krendor needs to go and pray. I think that's pretty much all he does these days. Yeah, he's God-fearing. He will only pray for stress relief. We could probably upgrade the Abbey a bit more. Oh yeah, absolutely. Upgrade transept. Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. There we go. For some, a tonic against the bloodshed. We upgraded our penance hall quite a lot. Dodgers should probably go flagellate again. Lots of stress level on that. Paris is a bit beaten up. I don't know if I want to send Dodger into the field again. I definitely want to send me into the field because I've got a really good heal. I like rolling with a party with a, a Vestal and the Occultist. Because the Occultist has weird reconstruction, which is really random, but it's very powerful, potentially. And I can't gamble anymore. I'm also- I have a hatred of a lot of things. Like, he's pretty good in melee, and against Eldritch creatures and beasts, he fucking murders them. And he's an Infomaniac, so there you go. He likes his women. Or men, I'm not judging. You can do as he wishes. Alright, so we've got enough cash for a decent amount of provisions for the next run that will hopefully go much better than that. We have Mowbray as well, who doesn't have Zealous Accusation. He does have Battle Heal, though. We could pro I, it would be nice if I taught him Zealous Accusation. Now, Battle Heal only heals 1 to 3, which is pretty rubbish. So, And honestly, there's also Holy Lance, which I don't really use that much. So I could probably swap that out. Let's uh, have words with him, and then we'll change his name to something that actually makes sense. There we go. Let's get Zealous Accusation. And then we can remap it, and hopefully not fuck it up. Okay, so I think we disable... A Holy Lance does allow you to move forward. I think you disable Battle Heal in a party like that, and you just go with Zealous Accusation instead. Alright. We we have a party, so let's get let's get people renamed. His stress is a bit high, but I think we can we can deal with that. He shall be Pro Jared, the Apprentice Crusader. All right, let's see if we can get a bit of a better run this time. Still not in a position where I think that we can kill the Necromancer Apprentice. I still think just doing this run makes more sense. Okay, so Pro Jared's going to be at the front. I usually take position three. Janet can come with us and go at the back. She's pretty damn good at what she does. And we need a damage dealer. Do I want to take Dodger? She's pretty stressed out. I could probably just take one of the new guys. Maybe Paskia. His preferred position is like number two, isn't it? Yeah, a ranged damage dealer wouldn't be bad. Yes, he is alive, yes. Okay, well, you... You shall be... Proton John. Of course. Alright, let's try that again, and not fuck it up this time, hopefully. Uh, so we definitely need a shovel for that, obviously. And we're gonna need probably more food than I took last time. Let's take 12. Skeleton keys, not too bad. Not too bad on the torches, don't need too many of those. 
And considering the amount of bleeding that seems to be happening in there, bandages might not be a bad idea. Alright. I'll take a second shovel as well. I have a feeling there's just going to be more to deal with. We don't have any trinkets. I've never had one drop. Either that or I've had them drop and they constantly get lost. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, two of my really good things got gambled away. Yeah, I, I don't think about- I don't think character customization is that important. I think the art style is really, really nice as it Those is and very consistent, so I don't- I wouldn't want to fuck with it, personally. Scraps of faith and give comfort to the masses. Alright, well, let's try not to fuck up. Especially considering we already have stress here. Gather three holy relics. Alright. I have no idea how I plan on doing that, but hey. Hopefully we get them within the first few rooms and don't have to worry too much. Uh, well, that's a lovely Ambushed start. By foul invention. Are we really talking about what fears are irrational? Come on. It's a fear. Of course it's mostly irrational. That's the point. Keep an eye out for traps. Decorative urn. Of course. He oh, he resisted it. There we go. So never mind. Hello. All right. You fuckers. Come on. Stop with this shit. I guess I'm glad we kept Holy Lance. He'll be able to charge forward again. All right. So we're going to focus on stunning this guy. Which we have succeeded in doing, thankfully. My sacrificial stab is pretty damn powerful. Weakening curse. I don't know about that. I don't think it's good enough to really use mostly. I think stabbing is just a better idea. I can dig vulnerability hex on the brigand though. Because he has the HP to justify that. There we go. My guy can take a few hits. He should be okay. Alright, I could duelist advance, but I'm not going to do that, I don't think. I think we just pistol shot and we try and kill the fusilier. Oh, it does too much damage. Okay, one more hit and he'll be down. Ugh. Ouch, that's a very hard hit. Well, the stun helped at least. Okay, so we can now Holy Lance and try and kill the fusilier with it. There we go. And that's going to put him forward as well. Make it a bit harder to hit him. There is always that double slice and dice at the front, though. It's a pain. Um, I think we just Dazzling Light heal again. Uh, she can take another hit. Oh, not good. Alright, and he's hexed, so... I'm okay with my guy at the front now. I think we just go, go for the sacrificial stab. He's marked, so we should take a bit more damage. Alright, can't do point blank shot, but can do pistol shot. We can also do Duelist's Advance. Don't like that, because it's going to put my guy in third position again. Ooh, big hit. Lovely. And a dodge on the point blank. Lovely. Doesn't get much better than that. Zealous Accusation. Wham. That was actually bad, but never mind. Blade. It was the wrong. I should have used Smite, but it did the job, so hey. Devastating blow. All right, good. So I think we can. Yeah, we're in a good position. Let, let's get let's get our guys healed up. Particularly Jenna, because she's badly damaged. Can't do either from here. Really? Why not? You position for pistol shot? Why the fuck can't I? Oh, pistol shot doesn't hit the front. Okay. So he's literally useless at the minute. So he'd have to duelist advance, but I guess to just take aim. Oh, we can make we can move him later. I like that. I really like the way that positioning matters in this game. This is why I say this game is actually more like an old school dungeon crawler. Those four man first person dungeon crawlers. It's really a lot like that. Much, I mean, I don't know why people keep calling it a roguelike. It's the stupidest. It's like, no, it's not. It's not a roguelike in any way. I don't know why people keep thinking it is. All right, let's go with the stun. We're going to cheese it. So we're going to keep stunning this guy, and we're going to heal our guys back up. Which, again, is cheesy, and I think they need to fix that. The way that um, I pr I've said to fix it is increase stress levels the longer a fight goes on. Um, and also, like, give rewards for finishing a fight quicker. Uh, maybe make torches burn out. Uh, maybe make uh, the party hungrier. 
so you have an incentive. Because otherwise, like, you get the last guy down, you just perma-stun, you heal a party up to full, because there's no mana bar, so you can just do that. And I think that that's a, that's a pretty cheesy tactic. Obviously, it works, which is why I'm doing it, but I don't think that it should be an encouraged strategy, frankly. It's like, again, frankly, it's just dumb. A powerful blow. Oh, resisted the stun. We can maybe get a weird... Uh, I'm hoping just to get a weird heal off here. And then I'll kill him. Yeah, roguelike doesn't mean anything in this. I don't know why... Again, there's no reason. Like, it has some random elements of this permadeath. Ergo, roguelike is the stupidest argument I've ever heard. Come on, really? It's not even roguelite. It's not even roguelite. It doesn't have enough roguelike elements. It's a dungeon crawler. Like, it's an RPG. A turn-based RPG. I don't even think calling it roguelite is reasonable. There we go, big heal. And hopefully not- yeah, two damage, whatever, that's fine. Yeah, maybe reinforcements after some time would work. Again, it, it's all- it's all a very cheesy thing, a lot of the time. <laughs> you suffer stress if you pass? God. Okay. As you wish. Dodge the stunning blow. Okay, I think we need to just kill this guy off because he's going to do some bullshit to us, isn't he? Let's do uh, one more Divine Grace and then just beat him up. Big sacrificial... Oh, come on! Is it going to be like that? I guess it's going to be like that. There we go. As the I'll fiend do the trick. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. There's a lot of assumptions made about roguelikes as a genre and it really just shows like an ignorance of the genre. The genre's been around for a long time, and it has a lot of uh, very kind of predefined ideas. And most of these modern games that are coming out don't really even touch on one out of ten of them. Which is why I think Rogue Light is a nice idea. But simultaneously, it's uh, not that descriptive. Okay, I'm going to take a short break, and I'll be right back with a little bit more, and then I'll wrap the stream up. I've numbed my mouth with lidocaine, which means I'm going to talk a little bit weird for the next couple of minutes, but it's good. Mouth sores from the chemo are a bit annoying. At least the tongue stuff's gone. That's uh, that's the main thing. I wasn't able to talk for a while. There's not going to be a video tomorrow. I've just I've been kind of busy today. Did therapy today, which was great. Uh, it was a good session. I'm gelling a lot with the therapist, so that's that's good. It's really important. Like if you don't if you don't find a therapist you actually deal well with, then fuck. I mean, all right. Yes, we shall use a key on that. Let's see what we got. Wealth beyond measure. Blood charm. Nice. Awarded Light to resist. The brave and the Disease is not that important, so I think we definitely equip that. That sounds good. Uh, Pro Jared will probably take the most hits like that, so let's have him equip it. There we go. I haven't encountered anything that does disease yet, so I'm sure there is something, but I doubt it's in this dungeon. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's this stream, and... Yeah, there won't be a video on the channel tomorrow, though. There's nothing planned. I'm still, uh, I'm working on the Sunless Sea video. That's probably going to be done for Saturday, I think. Um, there will be the Co-optional Lounge is going to happen tomorrow. For those who don't know, it's a pilot of a new streaming show we're doing. Uh, it probably will not be on my YouTube channel, but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, everyone's kind of going to record it, and they might upload their own version. So you'll, there'll probably be a version on Crendor and Dodger's channel. And it's Dominion, so it doesn't really matter whose perspective you're seeing it from, because everything's really on the board for the most part. So, that's how I'm going to be doing it. Hello! Let me guess, these all give disease. <laughs> After what I just did. Stun! Wow, okay, that's not nice. Don't like that, do we? No, no. Uh, I mean, these are 5 HP, we can just kill them. But yeah, we're going to be doing digital board games. It's very much a very casual kind of stream. The idea behind it is we talk about anything, which is something we don't really do on co-optional, and we've been getting away from more and more. So the hope is that people can kind of have fun listening to us talk about TV and all sorts of other shit. It's going to be very laid back. Kind of a speakeasy format, which is why we're picking a game that like doesn't take a huge amount of concentration.
But yeah, I'm not I'm not hugely keen on putting the kind of let's play -ish stuff on my channel, so It'll be a different game every week, yeah. So we've got some stuff on Tabletop Simulator that I'm going to do. And we've got... There's obviously some stuff like Ticket to Ride that we can play. Steam does have some board games, just not very many. I haven't played the XCOM board game yet. That's getting played this weekend. This guy's getting beaten up pretty fucking badly, isn't he? And that stun was resisted, which isn't helpful. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, that killed it. Never mind. Well, so much for that. This expedition at least promises success. Not so sure about that. I don't think we've reclaimed a single relic as of yet. Although we have got plenty of loot to buff the town up, so there is that. We did get him healed. Talisman will be on the cards, yeah. Again, that's a really easy game to play. And frankly, doesn't require any work whatsoever, so why not? Well, I don't know what that is, but I guess we're going there. It's probably full of nastiness, I imagine. Okay, so there is a trap here. We can deal with that. I don't think any of our guys are particularly good at dealing with traps, but uh, we can torch up now. We don't need to be so crazy dim. Who's the best trap guy? I think it's probably him. Yeah, me and them. They're both kind of the same. Nice. Curious is the trap maker's art. Mm -hmm. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. I played Ascension. I don't actually like Ascension that much. Uh, there's almost no player interaction. Uh, Thunderstone I have been told to do. Could do Munchkin. I don't see why not. I, there's probably a... I don't know. There's probably a Vassal add-on for Munchkin that would do the job. Cards Against Humanity might. Um, the main problem with Cards Against Humanity is that people really like to take shit out of context. And we considered doing it at a panel once. And then we said, look, like we want to do the funniest shit, which will often mean we do stuff that's racist or homophobic or fucking horrible. And you know that there are people out there that just want to fuck you over for doing that. So I would rather just not do it. Frankly. I don't want to have to think about that stuff. That's why, you know, playing Cards Against Humanity in front of people is a terrible fucking idea. Especially on the internet. There's too many assholes. It's not worth it. Well, this is not getting good, is it? Okay. Divine Comfort is probably the best bet here. Because we've all taken damage. Not great, though. Well, we can go for the weird reconstruction. Hope for a good roll. And we get a great roll. Fantastic. Okay, well, Zealous Accusation, I think. Neither of these guys have really taken much damage, though. We want to kill the Cultist, but I can't get to her. So we're just going to have to plow our way through. Yep, as it's... Sorry, it's just something we have to consider these days. Like, people are really stupid. We have to consider that. They will take anything they can. I would rather not put myself and my friends in a position where they have to deal with that. The Blood Bowl board game. You do what you do understand that like it's the same thing, right? That we're doing digital games because we're not in the same place, right? You get that. Just making sure. We, I don't actually live in LA, for those who don't know. I'm nowhere near Dodger and Jesse. We couldn't possibly play together. I really need to upgrade this ability. Jesus, that does a lot of damage. This fight is not going well at all. Fucking hell. Yeah, Eldritch Horror, I've been told, is a lot better than, um, than, Ar than Arkham right now. Come on, could use the crit there. Zealous again? I guess so. Oh, fucking hell. I don't care about the disclaimer. I don't. It doesn't matter. Like, someone will literally take audio and twist it and post it on Tumblr, you know? It's, it just is not worth the aggro. It's not. It's not worth the aggro. Absolutely not. Again, and cards, cards is fun, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather play it with my friends in an environment where I know that some twat isn't going to use it against me. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. It really is that simple. That's just the reality of the internet right now. You can't ignore that. Fuck, come on. Oh, good zealous accusation, at least. That helped. Get Reeling. Beat. 
good job I'm getting good rolls on my thing now, but I can't use it now because he's been knocked into the wrong position, so that's gonna suck. Come on, kill that. Thank you. Yeah, I've heard about Desperate Gods. Um, I do want to learn how to play that. I think it's still gonna be Divine Comfort at this point. And we're gonna try and- we're gonna have to cheese, most likely, with stun. Our main healer is now in the wrong position, so that really doesn't help. Uh, let's just try and smite and get him out of the way, and then we'll see if we can blinding light him. Yep, I can't. I can't give these guys their ammo. It's not paranoid when they're actually out to get you, remember that. Yes, the Gorka thing is embarrassing, frankly. Like, they literally created bullshit news fucked over what was supposed to be a positive. I don't care if it's an advertising campaign or not. That thing was supposed to be positive. And Gorka Media are just absolute scum. They are. And people ask, well, how can you say that when, like, you're friends with, um, Jason Trier? I don't have to like his parent company to like him as a person. Come on. It's not a difficult idea. I don't know why people don't understand that. Okay, if I duelists advance here... Oh, that killed him, actually. That was not the plan. Oh, well. As well, there's well, got to be a camp soon, surely. So too will resistance. Well, it should be all right. And I can always, like, get just get a good heal off next time. Yes, I've seen the Conan game. I tweeted about it not an hour ago. Um, Dying Light WTF is probably this weekend. I just want to play a couple more hours of it, and then I think I'll be in a... I'm pretty sure I know what I think about that game, but... I want to play a couple more hours just to make sure. Yeah, I mean, it really has got that silly. Oh, so you can actually set the camp yourself? Oh, okay. Let's do that then. I have food. I've got loads of food, so we should use together. this. Um, and vulnerable. Cool. Rats in a maze. Yeah, I mean, like, the the cry thing's a prime example of, like, put someone not putting trigger warnings of something that they claimed was a rape scene, which actually wasn't a rape scene. It's... The, there's, like, there's a degree that you go to that's fine, uh, but, like, trigger warnings in particular are, uh, one, silly, because generally they're not actually psychological triggers. It's a misused term. You know, tr a trigger is a real thing, and it's associated mostly with PTSD. You know, like, for instance, a lot of shell-shocked veterans have uh, a fireworks a trigger for them. Um, anything that sounds explosive, anything that sounds like a gunshot, uh, actual psychological triggers. And then there are people that are just looking to be upset about things. And you could, I think strong language warnings and strong violence warnings, um, are absolutely fine. And I think if there is actual, like, genuine sexual assault in the game, which is so incredibly rare that it's barely worth even mentioning, or nudity, for instance, then you should probably disclose that prior to it. But outside of that, it's just like, I'm sorry, the... You can't account for people's own little psychological eccentricities or ones that they just made up, and you shouldn't be doing that. I, I just in general, I don't have a huge problem with them in general, like, but I think it comes to a point where it just gets ridiculous. Like, th there's a page about the Game Grumps or something where people are like, yeah, if you're triggered by tomatoes, then it's like, nobody, no, nobody's actually triggered by tomatoes. Come on, come on, really? Like, you're just making things up now. And that's, that's a lot of what Tumblr is, and that's the main problem I have with it. It it really... It doesn't take mental illness seriously. It wears it like a handbag, and it's disgusting to me. Um, because, you know, I've dealt with a lot of people, and myself, you know, I have, I have mental disability. Uh, so, and I don't think that makes me special. And I certainly would never exploit it for my own gain. And I think that the people that do are, frankly, despicable. And... Tumblr culture seems to encourage that. And the biggest problem I've got with Tumblr culture is that... And this is, of course, like, dealing with the extreme side of Tumblr. Obviously, not everyone on Tumblr is insane. Of course not. It's the vocal minority. But the real problem is this idea that, oh, you should just seek acceptance instead of seeking help. That is really harmful. And it leads to people basically doing crazy shit. And it's like, oh, that's totally normal. No, you're not schizophrenic. You're special. No, you might actually be schizophrenic, and you should probably seek help before you kill somebody. You know, that you can't hug it out on the internet. It's pointless. You don't rely on other people on the internet for any kind of support structure. It's useless. It's a parasocial relationship. They're people you don't know. If you need to rely on people for, which is cool, because we all need people from time to time, then do it with real people that you actually know. 
not p and a lot of these people get their kicks from it too that's the really nasty thing about it so they actually reinforce a culture of not seeking help and making up mental illness disguising mental illness excusing mental illness and not actually seeking proper help for it it is just awful awful it's it's a real problem like it's especially a problem amongst influential teenagers i think that, that's actually one of the worst things on the internet right now it really is um so yeah tumblr is horribly toxic it's one of the worst sites to ever exist um i would take 4chan over tumblr any day of the week 4chan is ob is honest about how offensive it is tumblr pretends it's not that's the big problem i have with it all right, let's see. And again, this is just the vocal minority. You know, it's not like Tumblr's a website. It's not a group of people. But there is an obvious insidious culture on that site amongst a vocal minority that is really harmful. Okay. Let's see. So, benefits of camping. I've never actually done this before. The meal phase and the skill phase. During the meal phase, you choose how much they eat. Well, they can eat a bunch of shit. I don't mind. And uh, you can use rest points on different skills for recuperation. Okay. So I can feast, which will deal with my health issues. That's a lot of food, though. We can I think we can afford it. We've cleared out, what, half the dungeon? Yeah, let's do that. There we go. That's also going to deal with the stress quite well. Unspeakable commune. Ooh. Dark strength and pep talk. Well, we're good on stress right now, I think. We can... I think an unspeakable commune get the heal. There we go. Fatagin! Indeed. Okay. We could use dark strength, I suppose. Increase stress by 15. That's worth. Let's put it on our shooter. There we go. We can deal with that. Cool. What else can we do? Clean guns. Yeah, sure. Encourage and bandit sense. Clean guns. Let's, let's give him a double buff. There we go. Zealous Vigil. Reduce stress by 25. And plus 10 accuracy. Yeah, worth. And I think that's all of our rest points gone by the looks of it. I'm not sure where they track the rest points. Maybe it's the top. Yep, things are going fairly well. Hard to complain. We got some good heals out of that. In Radiance, may we find victory. Alright, sweet. I think we did pretty well there. And we've scouted out a good deal of the dungeon, so I don't... Th I think we have enough food for, like, one start. If, if they get hungry, we should be fine. I don't know if we've collected any actual holy relics yet, though. So I guess we just keep going. Do I want to use this thing? Probably not. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I resisted it, thankfully, so. Let's have a look, see. A holy relic. Good. Okay, well, we know where to find them, then. That's one. Yeah, you can't use heals out of combat, because otherwise it would be pointless. There's no mana bar in this game. You've got to understand that, like... There's no mana bar, so you could literally heal yourself up to full every fight with no penalty. You heal in the fight, that's the point. Okay, speaking of healing in the fight, that's exactly what we're going to do here. There we go. And this, we should be able to blow away the front immediately with a, a zealous attack, I think. Pistol shot towards guy at the back wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Big hit! Lovely. And then we just zealous the front, and that probably kills both if we're lucky. Death Ooh. waits Yeesh. for the slightest lapse in concentration. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. Zealous accusation. I've seen better. All right. We do need to kill the arbalist. He's the guy doing the most damage. But right now we're still we're still healing for the most part. Ten. Nice. Worth the bleed. I think we have a bandage, maybe. Alright, let's all this accusation again. Kills one. Not bad. And Prodon John is nicely buffed. He might be able to kill the guy. In fact, I wanna I wanna I wanna stun him because he's the high damage dude. There we go. Oh ho ho ho, he is a menace. 
That clean gun, those buffs that I gave him, I gave him a punch plus crit and plus accuracy and damage. They were worthwhile. Now this is a continue from the stream that we were doing. I would like to have healed a bit more. Remind but yourself it is what it that is. overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, twelve crests. That's a huge number. All right. Well, we've got one holy relic so far, so we're still going along. Yeah, there is um, there's a bard ability that reduces stress, so you can basically loop it and stun lock, and apparently that's enough to, for the most part, beat anything. Um, so they that it's still an early access. They have a lot of work to do with it. Hello, what do we have here? A bunch of spiders that are going to die horribly, I reckon. One down. Executed with impunity. Ew. Zealous accusation might blow them both away. Jesus! On, John, you are a monster. This is all you do. You just murder fools. They didn't even stand a chance. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Stun charm? Mm. We don't get stunned that often, I think, to even justify having that. What a machine. Okay, well, we still only have one relic, so I guess the rest must be somewhere over here in the last five rooms. Well, I don't know. I mean, the game's good in its current state. It's just not balanced. Like, it... It can't... It, it, a lot of early access games come out and they're barely even fucking games. Uh, this game came out and it's a game and is going to be a better game by the time it's finished. So... I can see why people would buy it. It's a compelling game. It's very compelling. I, I like it a lot. Cool. That's the second one. So we should have the third. Look at this. We're going to have a good haul. Especially if we, none of us dies. This is going to be great. Okay. It's a fairly weak setup. Not too worried about that. Uh, yeah. We'll probably just go in. Sacrificial Stab does a maximum of eight. It's not going to kill... I guess we just keep healing. It just makes sense. He's like our best healer right now. But I'm not going to say no to Dazzling Light. Hey, especially if we do six damage, and then that should be a kill on the Zealous Accusation. So that should be fine. Pistol to kill the guy at the back. Oh, John, just when I needed to crit, you didn't provide. You let me down, bro. I wasn't... Hey, there's an inventory limit? Ugh. All right. That's, that's not good. I wasn't aware of that. I mean, I'm gonna- I'm still gonna constantly advise people not to buy early access, you know? But I'm not gonna pretend the game's bad just because it's an early access. But it- it is a safe bet not to buy early access games. And I think that people are better off buying games that are done. Frankly. Because you never know. If you're gonna do it... Do it because... You- you- the game in its current state as it stands is good enough for you to buy. Like, it's worth the money that a they're asking. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Alright, what can I throw away? Uh, the stun charm's pretty shitty. So, I think we get rid of that. And I want money, so... Do we need to carry the bandage? We probably don't need the shovel, do we? We want to keep the rest of the food. Yeah, there we go. I want money. Fuck the rest of it. Okay, it might, this might not be a safe thing to do. This is never good. I don't know why I keep doing it. We need one more holy relic. Yeah, I mean, they their marketing strategy for this was really good. What they did was initially they sent copies a few days before launch out to streamers and YouTubers. And they played a bunch of it, which built the hype to the point where people really, really wanted it. Emeralds. Okay, what can I toss for this? The way gold stacks is very strange. Four of those. I guess we probably won't need the shovel. Hopefully this is the last holy relic. 
And now, the dark it's not. Holds dominion. Okay, Black might wanna. As death. Yeah, I think we can up the torch a bit. There we go. We are still stress isn't a problem, but we've taken a lot of damage, so I'm gonna need some good heals. Oh, and that's a nasty pack. Oh, oh fuck. Alright, shit's going badly. Suddenly. Test. Things were going okay, and now they're getting really messy. Alright, we need the big heal. No, don't Eldrick push him. Fuck! You asshole. And now I can't weird reconstruct either, so this is awful. Yeah, we might lose now. Out of nowhere. Teetering on the brink. We're gonna, the I think we need to run. I don't want to lose these guys, and I've got so much money. I need to get the fuck out. Yeah, we're leaving. God damn it. I almost had this quest done. Wounds to be tended. Shit turns on you. Lessons to be learned. But I'm not I'm not leaving without like all that we have so many heirlooms and items from this. There's no way I'm gonna sacrifice guys. Fucking out of nowhere. Proton John was murdered, but come on, I got 20, like 30 of these fuckers. So, yep, John Tron, Proton John is gone. John Tron is not. Yeah, so there we go. We got, we got decent money. And we got some levels. Pro Jared is now sickly. Lovely. But I am robust. And Jenna is a backtracker. Okay. So... We lost, but we got a lot of loot. I can a lot still of loot. see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on oh. its way. Grendor is not paranoid anymore, which is good. Guess we can dig that. Alright. We have a party, at least, that can run. Rest in peace, Proton John. Just randomly critted and murdered. Okay, well, I need to go to the brothel, I think. So, what have we got a lot of? I really want to do that upgrade so I can actually train rank 2 skills. That seems really important. And as it turns out, it takes a lot of those, which we now have. So, Some we good. May fall, That's going to help a lot. lives on. So we need, um, we also have a lot of those. So anything that uses busts and crests, I can do a lot of. Not that. What uses busts and crests? Uh, this does. Cool. So we could do huge upgrades with the amount of stuff that we have here. That looks a bit. Upgrade the transept. There we go. icons and dogmatic nice. rituals. For some, atomic against the bloodshed. Don't quite have enough of these to do anything with the weapons or anything though. Yeah, if I can get those heals upgraded. Like if I can go to rank two party heal. Which actually is guaranteed two, that's good. And there's probably a bunch of other stuff that would be nice. Um that's a zero, 0 to 12 now, which would be great. Um, just upgrading basic attacks as well, because like our damage per second is probably not high enough. So we're really lagging behind in some ways. I don't want to spend too much money there. I would maybe go for rank 2 on that. The one thing that I'd maybe also do on Krendor is probably upgrade to rank 2 uh, Zealous. Which is... Mm, it's not a brilliant upgrade. Maybe just rank two smite then. Just a, a better hit. There we go. Okay, I want to. Um, this is going to be a fairly low provision run that we go on here. I think. I think I'm. I can only afford to send me in. Yeah, this is going to. This run will suck. All of the runs have sucked up to this point. So, it is what it is. And I still have no trinkets. So we're going to have to embark on a run with a thousand golds worth of stuff, which is not great. Well, increasing accuracy is overall DPS increase, so it's the same thing. And this is zero damage. You don't want to be doing zero damage. Such is the way of it.
Oh, fantastic. Gav apparently got drunk and is now throwing all sorts of crazy shit on Twitter. I love Miracle of Sound so much. He doesn't give a fuck. He says, those most eager to push moral dogma on others are more often than not the most hypocritical and moral of us all. Or in Twitter terms, the more someone calls out and chastises other people, the higher chance they're a complete knobhead. So next time you see someone bitching about someone else or yelling callouts on Twitter, they're statistically probably a knobhead. Hashtag science. Fucking yes. I love that guy. He's wonderful. My current strategy is to surround myself with sane people. Okay, so all of these guys are a bit messed up. We can probably take a new party through a smaller dungeon. Uh, I mean, these three are fine, and we can maybe take... Crendor can probably handle another run. Uh, did we, we did upgrade Crendor as well, didn't we? So he's got, like, high damage now. Smite will help, so... Yeah. We can give it a bash. We just need a short run. It's gonna have to be short. Anyway, let's just do the skirmish and the warrens. Because we cannot have the money to, to make it run any higher. We can bring Crendor along. And then we roll with Dudley at the back, probably. Do we have a healer? If we don't, that might be a problem. So he's played Grenade and Noxious Blast, so he wants to be at the back. I don't think we actually have a healer available. Dodger doesn't have a heal. I guess we have to bring Jenna again. Her stress is pretty high, but I guess it's a short run, so... Yep, I think we have to bring Jenna. Probably in position three. She'll be fine. She's only like half stress. Jesse, Yeah, I mean, Jesse's in an okay spot. I'd rather maybe train up someone else that's zero, though. And then either take a Bounty Hunter or take Grave Robber. So Grave Robber is mostly Pick to the Face, which is just damage. Lunge, which is a melee and brings you forward. But she also has Fear of the Beast and Ruins Phobe, which is maybe not brilliant. <laughs> she has Thrown Dagger and Poison Dart, which are both pretty good ranged attacks. And then you've got Malali, who is like, Collect Bounty, Come Hither and Uppercut, which has a Knockback, which is actually really good. So I think we take him. I think that's really nice. Being able to knock back a melee guy to the point where he can't do anything is kind of huge. Alright, so we will rename him. And you shall be Jontron, the bounty hunter. There we go. So, basically, Jen's soul role is going to be spamming party heal constantly. And then everyone else is damaged and we just brute force it. Okay, well, we're going to need probably four food. We don't camp. Five torches, six maybe. We'll go eight food just in case. All right, that's it. Okay, let's go to shot. They breed quickly down there in the dark. Not a big dungeon. We can slay them even faster. Packs laden with loot. I don't know why people expected the Dragon Age LP of Jesse to be fast. That's uh oh, fuck. such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. So that's fucking terrible. Oh, scout happened. That's good. So, at least we know what's going on there. Just all the battles. Oh, there's a trap. And we didn't see it, even though we saw it on the map. Cruel oh, am I blind? Was it actually there? Life. Well, this is already going terribly. Purpose. Stress levels got to ludicrous levels. We'll probably want to double torch just to make sure that things don't go even worse. We haven't even fought yet, and things are already going terribly. Incredible. Crappy cash, too. What the hell are these things? Okay. Alright, then. 
But yeah, I don't see how a Let's Play of Dragon Age could possibly be interesting unless you edit heavily, and I'm pretty sure Jesse doesn't, so, you know. There's too much downtime in that game. The vast majority of that game is wasting your fucking time constantly. So, I think we even need party heal here. We're better off stunning. It's a bad game for Let's Play. It's that simple. What else can you say about it? Give them no quarter. The only thing you can do with it is edit it heavily so that you do a lot of the story stuff and any interesting encounters. You don't just play the game and let it go, I think. Because I don't think it's a good experience. It's like doing an MMO. Like, I, I, even when I started doing YouTube, I used to edit the questing stuff that I did in Cataclysm because it was really boring otherwise. The amount of misses is disturbing. As the fiend but we didn't take too much damage there. A faint hope blossoms. So, I guess it can't be that bad. Well, like, it's just it's just a boring game. Like, there's so much filler in Dragon Age that I've oh, God damn it. I feel it's nigh on impossible to really make that interesting. Of course he did. <laughs> Why am I surprised? You're running from place to place doing really boring shit. And like to optimally play that game. You have to do things which are really boring for the audience, which is gathering a lot of herbs and all sorts of other fucking bullshit. He's now bloodthirsty. Is that good or bad? It's bad. <laughs> Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the Yeah, I really don't understand those who apparently always right. had enough power, because I never did. I think, I think the people that have enough power are the guys that prioritize doing rifts. If you don't prioritize doing the rifts, you end up with not even close to enough power. Again, I have 54 hours in that game, and I only just got enough power to do the Snow Palace. Seriously, it is very easy to waste your time in that game. Well, at least we should be able to finish this dungeon as long as we don't have too many more nasty encounters. Okay, well, this looks like loot trap and loot, so hopefully we can do something with that. I'm going to keep my thing low to increase the loot I get here. A map helps to have one. So there's one more encounter we need to worry about in the treasure rooms at the end. Okay. Okay, who's best with the traps? Most of the time it doesn't seem to matter that much as long as you actually spot the thing, but... I accept it did in this case. Mechanical hazards. Possessed by evil intent. This sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> well, nothing in it. Never mind. Okay, uh, let's... Stress is starting to become a problem. Let's light up a bit. Oh, the flickering? Yeah, the flickering's still there. It's not as bad as, like, what they did to fucking Assassin's Creed, but there's still quite a lot of flickering in Dragon Age, and it's really unacceptable, because it's been out for months now. Alright, encounter coming up. Let's try not to fuck it up. Ooh, those look unpleasant. Alright, so carrying it, we can probably kill immediately. Dazzling light on the swine chopper, that's probably that well never mind. I was hoping to stun it, but it didn't happen. Drums of Doom, which I guess is plus stress. Oh, it does damage too, even better. Fuck my life. Alright. And Jenna, thankfully, is doing the right thing and is going ham. In the eye of the storm. Munch doesn't do much damage. This guy I don't really care about. These guys at the back are problems. Play grenades only gonna hit one thing, so it's pretty bad. Noxious Blast. Um, I think we just plus damage and just try and chop them to pieces. Do we pull the drummer out and beat the shit out of him? I think we do. Uh, no, we don't, because resist. Okay, well, Zealous Accusation does damage, but Smite will probably kill straight, so... Oh, 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 and I was right about that one. A power 
Lovely, got a bit of bacon. Alright, here comes the AoE bullshit. Well, we haven't reached maximum stress on him yet, so we're not- we're okay. This is probably the last fight of the dungeon, so we shouldn't be too bad off. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Okay, let's get damage buffs going and just murder that drummer. Bang! Surges as the enemy crumbles. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see if we can. Be gone, Never fiend. mind. I guess it's not going to matter because I think that's the last fight of the dungeon well, anyway. Luck. A move charm. Um, okay. Not great. And we're going to take a bunch of damage because we don't have a shovel with us. Yeah. Without tools of iron, you must rely It's over for us. We had to move a rock. The expedition purpose. is doomed. Come off it. It's a rock, you wankers. Those who covered injury find it in no short supply. Jesus, shut up. Final room, the we're done. Holds much worse I think. Than mere oh, there's a fight! Alright, we're not done. I don't know what a swine slasher is, but it's pretty low on HP and we could probably insta-give it. I'm more concerned about getting that drummer towards the front. Come on with the resistances! Okay, so he does a bit of damage. You might want to kill him off quite quickly then. Uh, yeah. Play grenade on the back. Party heal. I think she's going to be in heal duty for the most part. The mark's going to be a bit annoying, but... Alright. Can my guy actually hit? Or is he just going to... Shut up. There we go. Let's, um... We could probably torch here. The attack, the accuracy and damage thing is going to be pretty bad. The plus crit isn't worth it. So, let's get things back up. Alright, so we really need that drummer down. Smite 2 might kill him, and it didn't. Like, regular attacks I think we can handle. It's the those AoEs that are really screwing us. And he's gonna get another round of them. Okay, so we did poison the back. I wanna kill him. Noxious Blast, one to two damage, that's useless. Disorientating Blast is a shuffle. Probably best off giving plus damage, honestly. Hopefully he survives. He dodges. Nice. Good. Come on, are they all gonna get to fucking try it? Yes, they are. They always go last. It always seems like they have more attacks than we do. It's really annoying. Stomach cramp. Lovely. Okay, uh, party heal again. What? Oh, great. That's lovely. He doesn't let himself... What a fucking moron. Come on! Just, you know, I just... One break. Just one break would be nice here. Okay, we need one of these fuckers dead. That should be a kill, right? 6 to 12? There you go. And kill the guy at the back, maybe. Because he does a lot of damage. Looks like we're going to take a hit first, though. Krendor's a fucking idiot. Oh! Reeling. That's Death's Door. Okay. Break. Direct heal required. Shuffle isn't going to help. Noxious Blast on the Swine Chopper, maybe. Resisted. Of course he did. Of course he did. 
what else would he do? Minimum heal, of course. Perched at the very of course. precipice of oblivion. Although he would, at least he would have died there, so I'm glad that we avoided that. Well, Krendor's not dead yet, but he's on death's door, so if he takes another hit, he's probably gone. Uh, the knockback's irrelevant. We have to just go for the hit. Oh! It's blow. big! Don't hit Krendor! And don't let Krendor bleed again! Noxious Blast 2 HP, it's doable! Yes! Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Please, no trap. Glittering yes! Now get the fuck out! Did it. <laughs> Paid for in blood. We got away with it. Like a bandit. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. Lot of shit. Resolve level up. Resolve level represents the hero's veteranship. Stress resistance as well. Okay. Krendor is masochistic and messed up in the fucking head. Plus 20% scouting chance, but he's prone to investigating the He has so many bad things right now that we might need to actually send him to the sanatorium for. Second wind, that's always good. Hard skinned, these are good things. We just got away with that. I can see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before yes. they found me. We've got a decent amount of money to fix people up as well, so that's cool. All right, I'm going to wrap the stream, guys. So thank you very much for watching this little impromptu stream. Uh, it's about time to go to bed. Oh, fuck, it's 11 p.m.? Jesus. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching. And again, uh, co-optional lounge tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, which is 5 p.m. Pacific Coast. Uh, it's late for the Europeans, but we're doing a... It's, I mean, it's an evening U.S. stream. That's to be expected. So there's nothing we can really do about that. I shall see you next time. Good night.